Alright, welcome back to the Aglet Dr. Kayla match, part two. The oh match is boy. currently one one one. Right? This is a yep. Yep. This is a board with a lot of cool stuff. I wanna Ooh. I wanna I wanna mercenary attack them forever. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Two least favorite cards. Oh well. I can see hitting Urchin. Urchin on the open. A bullshit card. Urchin on the but open. DZ, why do you hate Fortress? <laughs> so I think here you just open double Urchin, as boring as that is. Yep. On the 5 2, you can mint Pixie and try to high roll. <laughs> yeah. Mint Pixie and then get um the gainer boon and gain two <laughs> Urchins. Yeah. Oh wow, that would be dirty. Although the problem is you're is you gonna have to buy some. You're gonna have to buy or get off Pixie some money at some point. Yep. You have two copper in your deck. Although I suppose Mercenary will give you money for a little bit, but you, you'd be playing on a razor's edge. So that's fun. <laughs> the ultimate high roll. All right. Proc is the best card from Dark yeah, Ages. Yeah, Procession makes me happy. It lets me it lets you do funny things. Procession is and the Fortress, best spinny card. It's so much fun, especially with Fortress. Is also super fun. Fortress Priest is a fun one. Yeah. Oh man, I built this awesome engine recently that used Priest to make it so that you could use lurkers trashing cards. Oh, um, that's and clever. Then it ended in. Finally, just having like priest trashing fortresses. Nice. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. See, urchin, urchin, Fortress urchin. is just a vanilla, but goat. it's lots of fun. I, I forgot about goat. Yeah, so goat makes it more likely that you collide those urchins. <laughs> Kaplan. <laughs> you know, procession. Procession Horse, another one. But here we see both players collide their urchins. Nice. Here come the mercs. Merc, merc, merc. So do you ever touch Lost Arts here? Um, I don't really see, because you've got fortresses that no. You don't have any terminal cards that you need to play. You have Merc. So the That's idea would it. be if you had extra urchins, then you can use them as villages. So that you can then use mercenary on your fortresses. If um, you like draw like possibly. fortress Merc. Yeah. But really, I don't feel like you're going to have so many terminals that you'll need to do that. Oh, expedition seems like a big problem here. Also, you toss an estate that you definitely wanted to trash to Merc. Ooh, expedition with Ur um, mercenaries. Or just Urchin. Yeah, even the, that discard. I mean, it makes them go down to four, so... Yeah, ex you can't buy expedition when there's hand size attacks like that. Yep, unfortunately. That whole event just gets made insignificant. See, Mouse is great because it has stuff like the first player to gain a fortress gains all ten fortresses to their hand. <laughs> or the new hot combo of scheming capitalists. Ooh. <laughs> Yep. I mean, Cultus is one of the worst designed and balanced cards that's ever been made in Dominion, so I'm with you there, at least. Do you yeah. want a second Merc? Yeah, because you got fortresses. You're not going to run out of food. Yep. You've got unlimited. Why do you have a walled food. village instead of a fortress, though? There, I don't see any reason. Fortress is them. way better on this kingdom. Like, yeah. you, don't, you don't want any of the other villages. Why do you have a shanty town? Yeah. Do you want to just buy a fortress here? I think you do. 
You want yeah, fortresses. the fives are garbage. I want a fortress. Yeah. You just want fortresses and then feed mercs and so I have a little bit of money. Yeah, have some money and then you're just going for like single province here. I mean yeah. there's no way to build yeah. bigger. And you're not going for castles, so Castles seem inefficient, but as I say that. <laughs> so castles really like plus buy because you don't generally want to green that early in Dominion. So you'd like to be able to green with castles by buying more than one castle at a time. And without gainers or plus buy, um, you can't do that. And most of the early castles are pretty bad cards yeah. for your deck. I mean, at least hum yeah. I mean, Humble's adding a copper. Yeah. Crumble adds a silver, which is top card. But maybe the silver's probably okay. But it also adds itself as a stop card. Yep. Um, small only works in like a castle heavy deck, and you need deck control. And it's not until the sixth castle that you actually start getting things that look like attractive to purchase. Yeah, like opulent castle. Which oh, Opulence is obviously great, although garbage here because you're gonna yeah be discarding all your green. I mean, you're gonna trash everything, but yeah, there's no wait, there's no draw here. This is a draw free kingdom. Well, Merc is like pseudo draw. It's well, draw Merc, with fortress. Merc on, yeah, with fortress. Okay, yeah, so Merc trash with... a copper here. Use use your goat. Don't buy golds, no. you need fortresses. You need to get this Merc Fortress thing going, and then you can add some more money. Otherwise, you're just going to trash theory, all your cards. In theory, you could just have nothing but Mercs and Fortresses. and. <laughs> that's a deck. That's a deck that uh, can hit 8. Not very... Oh, actually, yeah, it can stay decently reliable. I mean, it's not going much past four provinces, but it's okay. If only you had another fortress right here. Fortress I mean, they estate. still have estates, so... Yeah, fortress estate, but now you need another fortress to feed. Yep. And the problem is you want to play that fortress. Why do they buy a tunnel? Why are they keeping the estate? What? Wait, I, I don't like keeping the estate. Estates belong in the trash, at least in the start. Like, the estate is hurting your deck. I mean, you could trash it to Merc, but you could have gotten another fortress instead of that tunnel. And then you could have fed um, the Mercs with fortresses. Yeah. And you want a bunch of fortresses here because you'd like to be able to play a fortress, play a merc, still trash two fortresses, and be yeah, able to still have actions afterwards. Fortress to at nine really confuses me. I want to buy fortresses on pretty much every buy after the opening, at least. Wait, Shantytown? What? Yeah, I don't. I'm very huh? confused. There's no advantage to Shanty Town over Fortress. Why are they buying so many golds? Because it doesn't money... work with those mercenaries, though. <laughs> but my money. Money. Money, 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 money. We've got pixies. We're really gaining cards from all the piles here. I'm trying to figure out if Tunnel actually can do anything here. I mean, you do have to discard your hand a lot from the opponent. If you and want gold, gold is a thing. If you want gold. I'll get Fortress. You're allowed to buy Fortress even if you only have... Yeah! yeah. Let's go. 
they ran out of estates to feed to Merc. As they should. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Province. So you can get rid of that goat here. Yep, the goat served its duty. Feed the goats to our mercenaries. And then it seems like they're going to do exactly that. Yep. So let's see what Pixie gets us. Sounds good. Not useful here. Vassals. Interesting. I think I honestly like silver better. We're getting every single pile. Is museum on the board? Museum's on page two. Oh, the alleged page two. <laughs> Like, why do we have a shanty town? It seems almost always worse than urchin or fortress. Yeah. Because really, all you want here is urchins for Merc and then fortresses to trash to Merc. Yeah. The other kingdom piles, well, Pixie's okay, but the other kingdom piles really aren't all that good at all. Yeah, I can see Vassal having an important part here. As well as I can see Tunnel being useful so that you have, um, like, some food generation for when your hand doesn't line up. Yeah, I mean, the golds can definitely be food. If you're not feeding them, then they make a bit of money. Um, you can also generate like some golds off of them and then feed the tunnels to Merc. True. So I don't think tunnels like crazy here. Wasn't quite on my radar at the start, but... So yeah, it does like, add okay. cards to your deck, and it's the only way to add extra cards to your deck. Yeah. Well, except for men. And castles. Okay. It's the only practical one, though. I know what you mean. Yeah. All right. This is the unfortunate part about Mint mercenary is... mirrors. Mint is used more to remove cards from your deck than to add them. Ooh, what are we trashing? We're Nothing. not trashing anything. But you're revealing that you played your mercenary that turn. So now your opponent knows that you will not have your mercenary this turn. There are three mercs gone. I believe Dr. Kale has two. Do... Oh, okay. So don't play these shanties here, because you don't want to trigger the shuffle. No. I mean, you can still not oh, trigger wait, the shuffle. Oh, wait, it draws... Yeah, yeah. Um, you can just not play the mercenary. I would have rather had the merc on top, but okay, fine. Okay. So that's another example of shuffle management, triggering bad shuffles. So Kayla is getting way ahead here. Oh yeah, they're scoring, they are got mercs. I think the problem with Aglet's deck was, one, that they stopped at one mercenary, but the big thing was they didn't get fortresses in time. Yeah. They had a bunch of turns where they kind of stumbled around. They didn't um, have anything to do with the mercs. Yeah, and they weren't able to build efficiently. So what ended up happening was Caleb was just buying a lot of money and now has a deck that has a bunch of money in it um, as well as two mercs um, and some urchins maybe. Uh, actually, I don't think they have any urchins left. Okay, so it looks like Aglet has abandoned provinces and is now going for castles. Yep. And yeah, no, the only urchin still in someone's deck is Aglet's. Because both of Dr. Kayla's are now mercs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Kayla also with the tunnel. So I'm guessing they're going to pop small castle here. 
Yeah, I don't think they're gonna wait for it to collide with the crumbling. Yep. And now opulent castle. Oh yeah. Okay, so Dr. Kayla has a bunch of money. So not enough money this turn, yeah. though. Yeah, not quite enough. Um, so here, feed it a silver and a shanty. Or feed nothing shanty. That is an oh, option. Nope. But I'd rather just attack. Auto, I like attacking. Just buys a when you're in, castle. When you're behind and you need to make a comeback and you also need to make sure your opponent doesn't snatch King's Castle, attacking seems really good. Yep. Oh, so they do trash two shanties there. Dr. Kayla has been having that much money these turns so yeah their deck is definitely of... stalling out it remains to be seen whether that'll give aglet enough time to make a comeback because especially with the greening um opulent castle helps a ton in the greening phase but it's very hard to draw your green cards yeah we're no draw getting hand board. size stacked every turn no draw on this board really screws it up so i guess just expedition here it could also be a pixie i guess Oh wait, you have opulent, so you hit five, which yeah. doesn't matter. I don't know. I guess you buy another fortress. I think more fortress is good. Maybe you buy a duchy here. I think, I, that sounds bad though. I think it's early. It's time for harvest. <laughs> harvest time. Expedition's really risky. If they yeah. find. It's but a, on the other gamble. hand, it looks better than nothing, and most of the other stuff except for fortress doesn't look clearly better it's than a nothing. Gamble. Also here, the Merc and Two Fortress Collision. Nice, with the Shanty too to get it kicked yep. off. That's a lucky draw. Kaplan, the Zero Times. I can think of one particularly memorable game where I played Harvest. I believe it was in League. <laughs> Other than that, I've never touched the card pretty much. Still want Harvest Village Green to be a thing. If only. But with Village Green, everything is a thing. It's a card. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money. Yep, and gets a nice discard of Fondant Castle there with Vassal. Playing your money carefully is to not reveal to your opponent how much money you have. Oh, opulent with a couple of victory cards. Wow. They're oh, and the nine. It's gonna be so important the nine here. Missing, see who hikes, ten missing first. king's castle. Yeah, just missing kings. Okay, now shanty. This isn't enough money. This is only seven money. Oh no. Shanty opulent castle. Oh no. Like I said, I I think Shanty's not a good card on this board. Yeah. If only that Shanty was a fortress. Or if only they had put Lost Arts <laughs> on Urchin. Yep. Alas. Andy, it is currently 1-1. One, one. Nine. Oh no. So I think you gotta resist the temptation to buy a province here. Okay. So you oh. need the game to last long enough to get your king's castle. That's your oh. win condition here. It's it's is... now or now or never. Five. It's nine. nine. It's nine. 
Yep. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that hurts. That really, really hurts. If only Opulent was in this hand. That would be nice. Merc, nothing, Shanty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not much yep. else you can do. You can't give up points. Kings isn't going to be worth that no! much. No! No! Oh, no. No, they you could have continued drawing. your turn. And they lose. You can oh. Merc for no They They would have hit 10, though, so they... I mean... Alrighty. Okay. Kayla goes up to one. Yep. Ooh, all right, all right. Now this is a really cool kingdom. So right away, is he donate? So, I'm trying to think of what line is best. There's here. a lot of very powerful cards yeah, here. Donate lackeys. Scribe will magpie torture. They all pop out. <laughs> um, I kind of want to donate down to two copper and a potion, and then start building up like that. Where are you going to so get like your money from? Cargo ships. Uh, yeah, uh, so you open up. Oh, wait, that's Scrying Pool, not University. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong card. Yeah, that would deadlock yourself. Um, Don't do that. Uh, What do you do here? This board's confusing. Donate down to four Copper's Potion. And then or wait, what? Or do you open Silver? Donate down to... Do you donate in T3 or 4? <laughs> Yay, DZ likes this. I do, I too want everything. Because Magpie Lackeys, I want those. I really want them. But then you've got Kill and Torture and Displace, which help you a ton in, later on. Man, you can just build so big here. Oh, this is, this is a juicy kingdom. I wish there was Donate Arata already so you could finish your turn and win by donating away all your curses. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but Alliance and then Displace to get rid of. All the junk. That's kind of hard with just displays. Yeah. Um, I mean, the big problem with this board is the thinning. But it makes up for that but with donate. lots of villages and draw. Donate is the thinning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and donate's once, amazing thinning. Once, but... you, once you donate once, then you're going to have a bunch of villages, a bunch of scrying pools, torturers. that You're, you're going to have your deck under control for the rest of the game. Well, until you start taking on curses. Yeah. And then, you know, bye-bye. So they set a hostelry aside with cargo ship. I think it's better to set a horse aside. Yeah, a horse helps you more at the start of your turn. Increasing what you have access to the start of your turn is absolutely huge for start whether turn your turn draw. is going to kick off or not. Start of like, turn yeah. draw is amazing. Duration draw is very strong in this game. You don't want scrying pool, you want rangers, villages, and lackeys. I'm a sucker for scrying pool. Actually, I, my gain rate on it is probably absurdly high. It, you always want to make it work because it's just so fun when it does. All the cards pop up and then you have a 20 card hand. 
Yeah, it's just everything goes whoosh and your hand just goes brr. Scrying pool Hamlet, your opponent goes to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but yeah, lackeys and then get a bunch of villagers and then villages. Villages. <laughs> and then you can, you know, switch to rangers or, or torturers as your main source of draw. And I think actually here, you know, if you got magpies, then those can draw through also. So, scrying pool seems less important than it would otherwise. Yeah, I can see the argument. So, yeah, one of the players does not have a potion at all, so. No, no donate. No, there's been no donate yet, minion bond. I don't know if they're just skipping donate or if they're going for very late donates. Gold seems like a bad card. Oh no. No, torture gold is, is on the Gold's kingdom. a stop card, and we have torture, displace, and kiln to play with for five costs. Gold seems very bad compared to those. Like displace will let you thin your deck and his gains. Torture is draw and an displace attack. With... Kiln is crazy gains. Yeah, displace... And you can buy a four cost card. Magpie yeah. and Ranger are very good. So are villages. Yeah, and though displace and kiln, you can just gain and play and gain and play. They certainly open up some advanced stuff there. But you don't have to do something crazy complicated. You can just draw a huge deck, get a ton of money, and buy cards. That works too. In general, you want to go about your um, game by trying to first use trashing and draw to get deck control, and then add payload. Yeah. So when you add payload too early, your deck bloats and you have problems. Yeah, they both have some payloads. Like donate soon would be pretty good. In general, donate's the kind of card you want to buy in the first four turns. Like. It, there's yeah. almost never a situation where things are faster or work out better than donating very early. Yep. So here I think it's fine to not play the lackeys. Although I am tempted to try to get a magpie auto pile going, but I don't know how many cards we have in our discard. Alright, alright. So, no. I, I really want to donate just to get rid of all the junk at once. Yeah. Especially now that you've got golds, you have plenty of economy. Donate, donate, donate. No! More gold. J-Nails. Tell him. Tell him, J-Nails. <laughs> um yeah minion if you think this board's interesting definitely post in kingdom analysis afterwards because i would love to see what some of the top yeah, players freak, do in terms of what their donate Smith. line is freaking i'm sure freaky would have a cool opinion about it oh freaky's so good at donate boards man yeah also freaky's just really good, good. <laughs> <laughs> freaky's just good and especially because freaky sometimes does a different strategy than some of the other top players. Yeah, Freaky has a very distinctive play style. It's very fun to watch. Like, I, I really still enjoyed want, watching. I want to do the, the blind tournament. Years ago. The blind tournament where you get top players on alts and you don't know who's who. Do you get like points for correctly identifying who your opponent was after the match? I mean, perhaps. Maybe even spectators can join in. Sounds that, fun. That would be pretty cool. Let's see if you can guess who the player is by their play style. I think I could tell like Freaky and Nasmith apart, for instance, but I wouldn't be able to tell like most of the good players because I haven't played them a lot. Yeah, I mean you can tell a couple by play speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And if whether they click cavalry all of the time or not at all. <laughs> 
so I'm back to this match. We're buying more gold. Um, and lackeys. Lackeys go burr. Lackeys and magpies there still hasn't go burr. Been a, there still hasn't been a curse given out. So and only the, both only have one torture. A, and there hasn't been a donate bot either. You know, curses are totally fine to take here. Actually, you just donate them away. Actually, Dark. Um, no, we got a magpie fest. Burr. Birds breathe in. Birds go burr. Okay, wait. Um, Yeah, Dr. Kayla could have not discarded, gained a curse, and then paid off all the donate debt in one turn. But it seems like both players are skipping donate entirely. That makes me a sad panda. Alas. So scrying pool really doesn't work in a deck full of treasures. Oh, Aglet has both tortures? Oh, okay. Yeah, scrying pool likes actions, and golds are quite the opposite. Yeah, scrying pool works great when you can fill your deck up with cantrips like villages and birds. Yeah, so Aglet would really benefit from the scrying pool, but their draw is absolutely fine without it. All those yeah. birds. Birds, villages, tortures. I mean, this honestly looks kind of resignable for Kayla. Yeah. If it wasn't the a... fact that Donate was here, I would be like, Kayla's screwed. But what they can do is just take on a lot of curses and then donate them away because they have yep. money. Yeah, and then use the golds to build back up. But Aglet just has so many more action cards and the bird split. The bird split Are we talking about incredible. Donate too much, DZ? <laughs> or did you just not see it because you hate it or something? <laughs> I mean, one of these players says donate disliked, so... Yeah. So maybe they've just tricky... agreed to ignore donate. It's a tricky card to play with, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, the birds. Does Kayla have any birds? Um... Because birds like treasures, but... <laughs> Does... Is it a 10? Yeah. Nope, it's 10 now. <laughs> I just checked the log. Oh, man. That's crazy, yeah. And then all these lackeys... And everything. Now Aglet can start thinking about how to end the game. I mean, they only have one pile gone, and buys are somewhat limited. Yeah, the only plus buy is Ranger, and the only extra gain is Displace, or well, Kiln. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a very big engine to be built here, but I think they're falling short on that a decent amount. Donate would be Again. great here. It would turn their engine from kind of being able to draw the whole thing to okay. totally being able to... Yeah, Donate weigh all the coppers and excess lackeys. Okay, we're we gonna get some horses here. <laughs> we wish. We really do wish. We are pious. We believe in donation. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like they're just gonna be going for provinces at some point. Maybe displace some golds to spice it up, but really doesn't look like. No, it's gonna be a huge engine thing. Yeah, Aglet keeps adding lackeys to try to fix their village problem, uh, which trash, is not sustainable. Trash all your lackeys with donate, and then use your rangers and torturers to draw. Yeah, but also some villages would be good, or maybe some spools. Yeah, spool would definitely be great. Um, but I, I agree with Halo, Andy. Like, you displacing can displace lackeys an estate can... to a potion and draw it right here. Yeah, but displacing lackeys seems great because you want them for the villagers. You don't actually want the lackeys in your deck. Why would you play that magpie there? What? Are you I... not going to displace? I... Huh? Yeah, no displacement, and that was your last villager. Come on, donate your junk. 
and Blackies was horses are only a temporary solution. This, if only this there was person, a card that gave you plus two actions. I mean, lackeys are really good. I like getting lots of lackeys, lackeys but you have go, to deal with them. Lackeys are a very clicky card. You like to click on it. But the problem is the lackeys and villagers all run out. And then they your do. deck is sad. At least the hostelry will be a, a village. It's not that they're overbuilding here. It's more that they're building very slowly. Whereas I think their deck could have accelerated itself very fast. Yeah. There's a lot of spinning here and playing a lot of action cards. We're not adding that many cards to our deck. Yeah, because Aglip, you know, plays out their deck and then they get, you know, one action card on the buy. And so, yeah, don't it get rid of all the junk and then you can start doing more, like, Displace kill me things. They got the displace and they didn't even use it. And I'm not convinced you use Kiln on this board. I mean, I think Kiln is fine. It you know, seems cool, but it doesn't feel essential. If you can add it, then, like, you know, village, kiln, whatever card you want. Yeah. Village kill and spool and then get another spool with no need for the potion. Ooh, that is quite attractive. Yeah, because kill Looks lets like they're you... now considering spool. Oh. Oh, they did a gain and play. Yeah, stone in on the other hand is absolutely essential. We see some gain and play action. Now you That's can sweet. Okay. gap. Okay. Using the village, gap. Village donate. Don't <laughs> no. You can totally build to double here. You can build a lot bigger than double can, here. Yeah, you can build huge. Also, you can trash all your coppers and estates with a neat little event. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, love it's lackeys? a good love to have. Yeah, who doesn't love lackeys? They're freaking purple. We love lackeys, but just. Not too much. At least not without some villages too to help balance that out. Or 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 donate, you know? Donate, donate makes lackeys look lackeys even better away. than usual. Yeah, because once you they're buy... once you're done with them, once they're all moats, then you can just throw them out. Yeah, I mean you can even throw them out before then. You can buy a bunch of lackeys and then donate and just get rid of all the lackeys and just stock up on villagers. Yeah, Ranger also is if you want to like displace lackeys to rangers, because rangers plus buy, and plus buy is a critical element on this board. Mm -hmm. Although displace lets you do a lot of work without plus buy. Oh no, they're using all their villagers. Next turn no! is going to be rough. I mean, unless they buy a bunch of villages and donate away all the lackeys. Which, do they have all of them? Is this another 10-0 split? I don't see a tower, unless it's on page two, again. I mean, Andy, it would be much better if Dr. Kayla's deck was not chock full of treasures, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, if, An if Aglet, on the other hand, had this hand, I would feel a lot okay. more confident. Now, let's get a village, and I'm not going to keep repeating the request to donate. Just, <laughs> and another lackeys. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. And again, there's no reason for torture to be that brutal here. You can just buy, you can just take curses and donate them away. Yeah. But donate is just not an event that 
they're using. Well, that doesn't mean we're not going to stop talking about it. <laughs> the next time they see it, they're going to click it, turn three, and it's going to be amazing. Turn one, donate down to five copper. That's correct on a lot of boards. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to add the five. Yep. And then there's donate market square. Mm. That, that's fun. Oh, the yeah. fastest thing in Dominion. Just fucking rocket fuel. Brr. It's crazy. <laughs> We're going to the it's moon crazy today, boys. how fast it is. But yeah, donate money would have crushed these decks. Breaking news. Donald's new expansion specifically has card to be faster than donate market square. That Just sounds terrible. Speed. Wait, well, costs zero and says win the game. I still want an event that costs 64 that says win the game. <laughs> Imagine that on a single buy kingdom. <laughs> I don't think it would come up very often. <laughs> Unless there's like quite an engine with gainers. No, just that on a that on a single buy kingdom and then opponent gets seven provinces, but then you just buy the event. <laughs> This is true, Halo. Lurker DC, Hunter Grounds, Counting House Traveling Fair, and Donate Market about Square. The Black Death. I wonder if you've heard of it. Are usually considered the big three combos, although um, I've heard discussion of having a big four, and it's slipping my mind what the fourth is right now. Let me let me check hey. my combo notes. Lurker Hunter Grounds, Counting House Traveling Fair, Donate. I remember there was one that was like combo but used assistance that I'm not talking about things that need assistance. Yeah. Those like um, you got start oh, about... look at that scrying pool. Oh yeah. Man cap, there we go. Oh right. That one takes a while to set up, but once it sets up then the game just brr. I mean, I, I'd consider man cap as like the OG super combo. Like when it when it was when it first came up, it was like, oh my god, these two usually weak cards can help you win the game by themselves. Church Crossroads is also quite good, for sure. <laughs> Ten lackeys. <laughs> Gotta complete your collection. 10, 10. Displace province to displace and draw it. Perfectly <laughs> balanced. Dissolve 10 magpies and 10 lackeys. Oh my god, a village. All those horses. Look at all the horses. How many horses? You could horses? have so many horses, man. I say So nine a harder horses. concept is the idea of seeding your deck. So right now, for instance, if they took on six horses and then played just a magpie, just to draw into all that, um, they would trigger a shuffle with almost nothing but horses in it. And so their next turn would be very good because they're going to start off just drawing horse, 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 horse. So you really want to trigger that shuffle. Oops, we'll cargo ship. Yeah, that's going to go burr as well. That for sure is going to draw a bunch of cards. Can we donate? We can in our dreams. <laughs> we can in, in the Dominion game in our hearts. We wish. Oh, Alliance? Okay. 
Where's gardens? Oh my god, look at those birds. Ooh. Birds are putting in a lot of work. When you have 10 cantrips and scrying pools, it tends to work out pretty well. <laughs> yep. Oh, this and is your, your junk cards are just lackeys. Ranger that's ready. Cards. Ready to draw. Boom. Bird. Oh my god. <laughs> What a card. I love Scrying Pool so much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Curse. Yep. Yes the best feeling yeah I can do a, so much province to gold or whatever let's see what do they have in exile province to Just kill states. um I like getting another displace and apparently so do they nice that's also good there's a lot of good good plays when you have a strong engine Oh, now you can yeah, it's good to see like solid deck control, like big building, big kind yeah, of thing. Now you can off. displace something else. Like, uh, you could displace like a province to a hostelry and discard some treasure in there, and then play a magpie and seed your next draw. Magpie to cargo ship feels terrible. Oh, I don't want my I magpies in like, exile. Yeah. I want those in my deck. Magpies are great. Cargo ships are less great. Also, I really would have liked to exile province to like anything yeah i was considering just doing province to hostelry i mean you yep, only have four gains left here to win the game so okay Yeah, um, exiling or displacing down or remodeling down sometimes gets missed. Scrying pool, you are a card. You are just such a card. Yep. Scrying pool sure is a card. Yeah, I can definitely take the junk. But they but, could also just potentially double. Yeah. They just need one more coin, which... They can displace... Yeah, or they can even displace a province. Displace a gold into a province and then seven coppers and whatever. This is a long game. It's turn 22. Man, Man how long does donate money take if it has to... Get like eight provinces. <laughs> like seventeen turns. Sounds right. Well, okay, so that makes it the match two two. Going into game five. Yep, here we go. Oh, Aglet's turn to be right back. You know what? This one is going to be in three parts. See you <laughs> next time.